Hey there, I'm Chris Baseford. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't done tutorials in a long time, so this is uh, this is fun to be back at it. Um, if you have seen any of my other videos, you've probably stumbled across the auto-tune video that I did uh, probably four years ago now. Um, since then, I have moved to Melodyne and uh, pretty much use Melodyne, uh, if not every day, just about every day um, for time stretching and pitching. So I'm just going to show you a quick video today um, of how I replaced my auto-tune workflow with Melodyne. So here's that same song that we used before. No, well, let's bust it out here. There we go. I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. Okay, same vocal as the one on the autotune video. We're going to do the same basic thing. Put Melodyne on the insert. I'm going to stretch this guy out a little bit. And then I'm also going to blow this way up. So I can put that there and kind of see where the waveform is. Okay, so we're going to capture this, transfer. I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. So there's kind of the first line, and I typically will transfer the entire song at the same time, but uh, just for uh, timing's sake, keep this nice and brief. In Melodyne, when you right-click on your mouse, you get all the tools and some of the, uh, the options here. Um, very handy and I just use the zoom tool to, to zoom in and then you can use the, the scroll tool to put it where you want a couple quick things big differences between this and autotune uh, the main thing is instead of using a line for the correction it now separates the notes into uh, what they call blobs and um, the, the way that I can describe this best is it makes them almost like MIDI notes and then you can put them uh, in the scale wherever you want so it separates them out into these blobs. The first thing I go in and do is I fine tune the separation with by right clicking the note separation tool and I'll just go through and separate anywhere where there might be uh, a different word, a different note, if there's a big swoop that it's seeing as one note but it's actually two notes. Um, I'll also go through and separate any sibilance, so the S sounds, any consonants at the beginning of uh, at the beginning of words, um, any breaths, uh, any other little things that you don't necessarily want to be um, processed, because that stuff doesn't really have any pitch in it. So I'm going to separate that guy as well, and I. Think think just because I've been using Melodyne enough, I'm probably going to want to separate that guy too. Okay, so I'm going to separate that one as well. And zoom back out. There we go. And let's... I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. All right, so we're going to get into correcting this. And if you use the uh, pitch correction tool, we'll right click there, you can just go in and actually click and drag. <laughs> And it plays it back for you so you know where, what note you're dragging to. Or you can double click and it will put it right on the grid for you. Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see this. So double click, snaps to the grid. Double click, snaps to the grid. So another way of, um, of doing this is there's something called the pitch macro tool. And if you click on it, you can just drag the pitch center and it will snap pretty much all the notes or any notes you have selected uh, onto the grid. I don't typically use that too much because I like I like to have a little more control and I don't want it to snap certain things. Um, I don't want to snap the swoops, the ins and outs of notes. I want to leave those natural. So I just go through and literally manually uh, snap the, the notes that I want onto the grid onto the grid. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna snap those guys. Snap those guys. Snap that guy. I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. That guy's a little sharp. I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. Try I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. Snap that guy in. I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. 
Now, the cool thing about Melodyne is it's is it basically handles all the transitions uh, between the notes and kind of sews them all back together very smoothly. Now, if there is uh, a scenario that you want to either make the transition less or more, you basically use the pitch correction tool, and when you hover over those these little kind of thin orange lines, it lets you do that. So, um, let's say like right there or right there right here I don't care what they say I'm in love with you try the other cool thing is and that's often necessary sometimes even though you've snapped something onto a grid it still sounds sharp or flat so if you use the pitch correction tool while holding option and dragging up and down you can actually move it off the grid so I'm gonna do that right here I don't care what they say I'm in love with you and then this part here, I'm gonna do that as well. I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. That guy I'm gonna keep on the grid. I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. There's just one other spot that I'm gonna tweak here. I'm gonna tweak that right there. And the other thing is, if for whatever reason you want to get back to something, like let's say I just separated that and I want this little section here to go back to the way it was, you can go to Reset Specific Edits, and I'm going to make the uh, the pitch center back to where it was. I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. Try and there you go. So again, much more in tune. It's a little a little more subtle than uh, uh, you know than some vocals I tune because it was good vocal performance to begin with. But and then the same thing as we would do with auto tune. Make a new track. Bus it, and then record it, commit it, and I name it PC T, and that way it names the audio file with a dot T. I know it's been tuned. Hit record. I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. And now you've got your tuned vocal right here. Then I just turn this off, make that inactive, but I'll keep the plugin on it. And that way, if I ever need to get back to it, it's there. That is uh, kind of the basics of my Melodyne workflow. And I'll uh, dig in a little bit further to a lot of the other really cool features of Melodyne in other videos. So stay tuned. Um, make sure to check back on my YouTube video. Subs hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And you can also find me at chrisbaseford.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.